Okay. We are already celebrating the fourth Sunday of Advent. And as Father Jay said, in a week's time, we are going to celebrate the birth of the Messiah. And today, the prophet Micah, 700 years before the Annunciation, prophesied that there will be a king from the town of David, Bethlehem, a very small town, who will be the leader of God's people. He will be the ruler and a peacemaker. He will bring peace to the people of Israel. And not only Israel, but the whole nation, the whole world. He will be that ruler. And this was fulfilled when the angel Gabriel was sent to Mary to announce to her the fulfillment of this prophecy of Micah. And one thing that we need to point out is when the message was sent to Mary, she said, I'm just a virgin. How can this be? But the angel told her, the Holy Spirit will overshadow you. You will conceive and bear a son, and his name will be Emmanuel, Jesus, the one who is to come and save his people from their sins. And as we heard in today's gospel, Mary, in haste, rushed to her cousin, Elizabeth, who was six months pregnant, and that was the visitation. Something happened when Mary reached the house of Zachariah. Three things. The first was when Mary greeted Elizabeth, you were told the baby in her womb leapt for joy. John the Baptist, in the womb of her mother, Elizabeth, recognized the presence of the Almighty. And she was joyful to experience that presence of Jesus and Mary in the house of Zachariah. And she leapt, he leapt for joy in the womb of his mother. Then the second thing that happened was Elizabeth proclaiming Mary to be blessed among women. You are blessed among women. And not only Mary, but also the fruit of your womb. I believe the women here will testify. Mary was just informed that she's going to be the mother of the Savior, just a few days, because it will take about 90 miles from her village to where Elizabeth was. How did Elizabeth got to know that Mary was pregnant? But we are told that just as the Holy Spirit overshadowed Mary, the same Holy Spirit was the one who revealed to Elizabeth that Mary was with a child. It was because of the Holy Spirit that Elizabeth recognized the presence of the baby in the womb of Mary. Then she said, I am blessed to have you in my house. Blessed are you. So, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, Mary conceived Jesus over 2,000 years ago. We are going to commemorate the birth of the Messiah on Christmas Day. But we are called upon to give birth to Jesus every day, every hour, every moment in our lives. So, just like Mary, we are called upon to be pregnant with Jesus. That is why 
when we receive communion and the priest or the deacon will say, go in peace, the mass is ended, go and proclaim the good news to your brothers and sisters, you have to go in haste like Mary, going to see Elizabeth to also help in the house of Zachariah, we are called upon to go in haste to our homes, our communities, our workplaces, and proclaim Jesus to those we encounter. And that is what we can do as Christians who are preparing to give birth to Christ in the world. But how can we do that? We need to avail ourselves to the Holy Spirit to overshadow us, the Holy Spirit to open our minds and heart, the Holy Spirit to direct us as we go out to give birth to Christ that we receive into our lives. And all of us can do that in our small ways. We have our family members. Some are lukewarm. Some do not want to hear anything about Christ. But it is our duty as priests, as prophets, as kings, to go and give birth to Christ in the lives of these people to help them to recognize the presence of Christ in us and we as babes to draw them closer to Christ. That is why I will challenge all of us today from this weekend till next weekend, let us bring one brother or sister or a child or a friend to come and experience Christ on Christmas Day. It is our duty to bring those who are still in the world, who do not want to hear anything about Christ, it is our duty to touch their hearts and allow them to also experience what we are experiencing here. So as we go home, let us bear in mind that we have a duty to touch somebody's life. Let us help them, like Mary who went to help Elizabeth, let us also help them in diverse ways so that they can also feel the presence of Christ in their lives. We pray that as we prepare for Christmas, our preparations will not only be the material things, decorating our houses, our compound, with lights and all the things that we do, and also the food and the drinks that we'll be enjoying on Christmas Day, but let us allow the spiritual aspect also take a greater part of our preparation so that when we celebrate Christmas, it will be a meaningful one for all of us. I wish you the last week preparation for Christmas. And may Christ, who is in us, use us, work through us to touch others' life. May God bless us. May we continue to be that instrument that God will use to draw others to himself.